Hi guys, um, update 6 I think. Right, take a look at this. Okay, standard, uh, uh, well, no, <laughs> far from a standard Bedini. Right, you see the platter running around there? Um, not its maximum speed, one coil, one generator coil on the back going to um, a voltage doubling rectifier circuit consisting of two diodes, two capacitors then comes around try not to show me the altimeter otherwise I'll support, spoil the surprise uh, well there's two batteries there but only one's connected and down here diode there, Scotty right. capacitor pack and I'm sure you recognise my circuit there. Right, here's the surprise. The diode there isolates the capacitor bank from the battery. So, anything that's fed back from my circuit goes into the capacitor bank, not the battery. Right, so, the question on everyone's mind is how much is it drawing from the battery? Let's close up mode. Right, there's my multimeter. It's set to scale to 20 milliamps. And there we have it. It is pulling 2.61 milliamps from the battery. That is all. I am uber, uber, uber close to unity. Um, I don't think anyone else is... Uh, quite as close as I am. Oh, little fluctuation there. Right, simple enough. Right, here's the interesting thing. I've gotten so close because the generator coil on the back is causing a lens effect inside the main coil. And because of my altera alterations and D3 and D4, right, that um, when the put my teeth back in again, when the generator coil produces a lens effect, right, that lens effect is then captured by that coil and fed back into the capacitor bank. Right, so the lens effect, right, is actually producing additional power in the main coil, in both the trigger circuit. The, try again, trigger coil and the drive coil and it's both feeding back to the uh, capacitor bank and you'll have to excuse me, I'm very excited here so it's simple enough um, all I need to do is somehow find 2.6, 2.7 milliamps I say, um, going to have to get a uh, brown plastic bag because I'm hyperventilating here. As you can see, wires, nothing else. Going to here, out there. Shift that out the way. There we go. Around the back. Sorry about the shadows. Here, I'll get that out of the way so it doesn't confuse anyone. Do, 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 do. Again, in close-up mode. Forgive the uh, pair of pliers, I'm just holding the uh, generator coil up with a pair of layers. <laughs> My circuit. Do, 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 do. All the layers. You can see it all. Not hiding anything. That's just a resistor pack, because it's popped all the uh, um, variable resistors, which is nice of it. So it's kicking one hell of a mark current back again. And you can see all that lot as before. Screwdriver there holding the uh, um, generator coil up. And, uh, well, there's two high voltage capacitors on there that uh, um, probably uh, 
you've got about 90 volts in so I might see if there's a way of uh, getting that to 2.7 milliamps out of uh, well C1 and C2 buses 1 and 2 um, so I haven't uh, touched the power that's in there as I said there's about 90 odd volts and uh, well here have a listen to this don't know if you can hear the pulsing try and get this as close as possible without it uh, cutting out I think you can hear the pulsing right, I'm going to disconnect the power right you heard it there start to drop off right but it's still pulsing after um, um, after I'd pulled the power so I am as I said uber 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 close right where's the paper bag guys feel free to comment or email Whoa.